Hello, welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video demonstrates how to manually upload auto support messages to NetApp in ONTAP 9. In some scenarios, it might not be possible for auto support messages to be sent automatically due to network connectivity limitations or auto support were suppressed due to maintenance activity. However, the auto support data might be required for technical support to efficiently troubleshoot a system failure. So to collect an existing auto support, execute the command as displayed on the screen. This command will show the timestamp of auto support generation. When was the auto support got generated? It's a history show from where we can identify the sequence number of the auto support messages we want to retransmit. Now to retransmit all the required auto support messages to local files in the root volume and get them in the archive file format, that is .7z, execute the command as displayed on the screen. In this example, I will select 5 as the sequence number. Now to check the status of the request, execute the command. You can see the retransmit is sent successful. Now to invoke new auto support, execute the command as displayed on the screen. This will provide the most current content. Now use the web SPI interface to download the files to your local machine and then upload to the ActiveIQ support upload page. Enter the cluster management IP address. Click on logs and look for retransmit folder. Now download these two files to the local machine. Navigate to the ActiveIQ auto support upload page. Click the upload files and choose the .7c files. The upload status will change to success once it is completed. If the auto support file is larger than 25 MB, then use NetApp authenticated file upload. And also if uploading uh, more than one file at a time, the files must be named differently. Now let us see how to delete manually invoked auto support files. Also note, if you don't delete these files, it will consume space in the root volume and moreover, these files will not be used in the future. Access the node shell. Get into advanced mode. To display all the files in the retransmit folder on the nodes root volume, execute the command. You can see there are two files. Now to delete this auto support files, execute the command. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching this video.